Hey, this is Whitney Nosley, and I'm here with Anna Whitworth from United Capital Lending, and she is a mortgage specialist. Um, and today we were talking about, you know, if I want to go out and buy a house, I buy houses all the time, so I go out and I just find a house and I buy it and I love it and go on. But for normal people, when you decide you want to buy a house, you need to have some things in order. So how far, if I want to buy a house, you know, before I get married in October, how soon do I need to be getting my stuff and my paperwork to you, or what's that process? Um, basically, um, you know, everything's about timing these days, and I get a lot of phone calls, and they're like, oh my gosh, I, s I see this house, and I'm in love with this house, and I want to buy this house, like right now, like yesterday, and, and no I love that. No no nothing. Nothing. Just buy just, it. Yeah, but <laughs> no cash. <laughs> yeah, I need me. So, which I love those phone calls, because everybody's pumped up, I'm getting pumped up, everyone's ready to do business. So we take a look at their credit and we talk about their application and um, they're a lot of times nowhere near ready. And mm -hmm. so then they get discouraged and then they're, you know, a lot of times time goes by and then that you kind of lose steam and they're not as excited. And so it's always that hook, like that house that just catches their attention and they're ready to do business now. So what I want to talk about is it's all about timing. If in the near future, whether it's a month, three months, six months, a year, two years, you kind of need to keep a check on your financial situation and your credit. So, you know, if, if you're really looking to buy probably in the next six months, it would always be good because um, on average, I can get a credit score up. Sometimes it's two days, sometimes it's a year. So everybody's different. So give me a call and we'll take a look at it. And, you know, you could be, el you could be able to buy that home today, but you could actually need to do a little bit of scrubbing and put some elbow grease into it. And that, I do a lot of the footwork for my clients so and, and get them prepared for that. So when they do find that house, we're actually ready to go. Also, if they're looking to buy, I'll go ahead and have them send me like everything I'm going to need. So once I get the contract, it's not like I'm spending a week trying to get information from and them. How long is that checklist of paperwork that you need? Is it 10 items? Is it... Everybody's different. Just the basic information is 30 days of pay stubs, um, W-2s for the last two years, tax returns, um, two months worth of bank statements, um, your 401k statement. Um, sometimes we have to verify rent, so you want to make sure that you're paying on time every month. We could do a verbal verification for that. Okay, good. Um, and then uh, basically that's I mean, it's not like it's, you know, a truckload of information. But for the most part, that's pretty much what we need. Divorce decrees, child support papers, <laughs> bankruptcy papers. <laughs> People have those? They actually do, which is fine. That doesn't eliminate them from the process. But uh, it definitely helps if they can go ahead and okay. get all that for me. Have your paperwork together and give Anna Whitworth at United Capital Lending a call if you need any help with your mortgage. And what's the phone number? My number is 865-679-9765 and I'm licensed in Kentucky and Tennessee. My NMLS number is 150-642. Thank you very much. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. Check back later.